Today, we're gonna build some tiny houses, but the challenge is that every single tiny house is a different patch. Yes, we're gonna have 12 tiny houses on this lot right here. And this is indeed part one of a three-parter series because I'm not gonna do 12 houses in one sitting. I'm not that insane. But yeah, we're gonna do 12 houses and each one of them is gonna have one random expansion pack, one random game pack, one random stuff pack, and one random kit. Whoa. And also, just as a quick reminder, the Black Friday sale has started paypal you can get some very nice discounts on the sims games and also some sims games are also going on sale for the very first time so don't forget that and the black friday sale ends on december 4th so you better remember and if you use my query code just nora this is the black friday season then i, I will get seven percent of your game no i do not get seven percent of your game i get seven percent of the commission <laughs> that would have been funny though but yeah if you want to support this channel then you can just squeeze my little code in there and uh, yeah that would mean a lot to me so thank you so much <laughs> All right. Oh, and the winners of the giveaway. How could I forget? Okay, so the winners of the kits giveaway is these people. Congratulations, congratulations. And yet again, I don't know who these people are yet because I'm filming this before the due date, but I'm sure I chose the right person randomly. But um, congratulations. All right, I'm flabbergasted. Let's uh, continue on with this video. Yay. Okay, so we were going to make 12 tiny houses with their own little packs in it. And to choose the packs, I'm of course going to use the James Turner's random pack generator to generate all me frickety frickety packs and no i'm not going to use caskets okay because what are we supposed to do with that but not only are we going to randomly generate the packs we are also going to randomly generate how many people are going to live in these tiny houses so here are my little spin spin wheel and we can have up to eight people in one little tiny house so that's going to be something and last but not leastly last but not leastly last but not least <laughs> we are also going to have a spin spin wheel for the type of family members mm -hmm. so we can have a baby an infant, a toddler, a child, a teen, young adult, adult, elder, and an animal slash pets. Yes. So those are my generators. I must be too many wheels. And then I also thought that we need some ground rules for this challenge. That is always good to have some rules. So I don't go flying around everywhere. Right. <laughs> so the rules for this challenge is that I'm, of course, only allowed to use the packs that I get from the generator. And I'm not even allowed to use the base game. I'm only allowed to use those packs that I get. The only times that I'm allowed to use base game is when none of the packs has that particular item. So for example now I've chosen some random packs and then I go to select a counter but they don't have any counters. That is when I'm allowed to use base game. But the only thing that I'm allowed to use base game on is for these saucer lights. Okay I have to put them in just so I can see and you can see. Because boy oh boy some of the ceiling lights in the sims are horrible. Look at that. Those ceiling lights is just to make this video watchable. Good we're on the same page. Great. But other than that I am allowed to use one one veto per build. One veto. <laughs> so for example, again, if I have these random packs on and I go to choose a fridge and I'm like, oh, I hate these fridges. I am then allowed to use my veto, one per build, and then go into base game and choose another fridge, okay? And I think that was all the rules that I made up for myself. Yes. Alrighty, yo. So let's generate our first packs, shall we? And actually, I have to cross out these two packs because I don't have them and I don't plan on buying them either. So gotta cross those out. <laughs> well, alrighty. One, two, three three let's generate please be something good ooh, ooh. i don't know what that sound was bathroom clutter kit i mean that's good for the bathrooms not so much for the other rooms a jungle adventure i can't need to remember if that's good or bad <gasps> home chef hustle okay that's good we're gonna have some nice kitchens at least <gasps> and then four rent okay 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 i'm kind of panicking but i think i'm all right <laughs> and then we of course need to spin for our family members how many family members are we gonna have four okay i can manage that i can squeeze them in what about the type of family members? I hope I do not get like four toddlers. I did not think this through. But all right, let's spin for the first one. A young adult. Okay, that's a good start at least. Let's spin for the next one. Adult. Okay, this is <laughs> this is going very good. And then we got a baby. Okay, a baby. We're gonna have a baby, people. What about the last one? Another baby. Well, fantastic. That was truly riveting. We're gonna have a twin babies and a couple. All right, let's uh, <laughs> start with this first house. What do I want the house to look like? I want it to be a little city-like esque. You know a little bit asian city town vibes that's the only way i know how to describe it so i mean let's make some shapes let's make it poppin and then we just continue with that all the way to the top and i think this one is gonna be three stories why i'm not sure but it is and then we can have like a little staircase in the middle there to get up 
somewhere. <laughs> okay, what stairs do we have? Oh, oh, okay. I'm just gonna go with these ones for now. Oh, that fits in neat and nicely. I like that. And then this part can be a little veranda moment. Veranda panda. Sure. And I can squeeze this one back as well. And then, oh, what if I make a little indent in here just for the fancies? I don't know what I'm gonna have in there, but something. And then I think we're gonna have some problems with the stairs because this is a little tiny house. Look at that. So I'm just gonna make a little indent out here too, just to get a little bit more space for the stairs, you know? And then I can squeeze a little box right there so we can have a teeny tiny little house not sure what that's gonna be but it's gonna be lovely oh okay now for the inside i have to make sure that we have space for everything on the inside <laughs> before i do anything else you know that's kind of important so i mean we can put the stairs right there that's a good spot for it and then we can have another staircase right along there yes okay dokie so here's the first floor and i do think that that is going to be the bathroom and then we can have a living room situation right there and then a kitchen and dining room kind of deal going on yeah and then on the second floor which has the entrance people it has the entrance we can have the primary bedroom and then an ensuite bathroom and then the nursery can be over here yeah and on the top floor we can have a little bathroom maybe if i can squeeze it in and then some sort of office situation maybe yeah that's a good plan i like it now we can deal with the rest of the house oh okay first of freaking oh i want this roof to have a little half wall i think that could be cute like so and the other roofs they can be like so oh not like that like these yes lower it down a little bit and then get some funky funky roof tiles oh that's kind of nice Oh, what about green? Oh, I like that green. Okay, I'm gonna go for that. And then the other roof, it can be the same thing. Just a teeny tiny roof for a teeny tiny space. Yes. Oh, okay, let's look at the wallpaper. Ooh, we have some selections, people. But I think I'm gonna go with the stucco one. That's kind of nice. Ooh, what if the one in the middle is like wood? You know, that could be a vibe, but it could also be a disaster. We have to see about that. Ooh, and then we need some windows. Oh, yikes. What about these ones? Okay, those are nice. Then we can have one of those. Oh, yes. And then in that little hall, we can have these windows. That fits the vibe. The vibe that i'm cultivating we also need a door oh gee belly. okay what about this door do they have that in the funky color oh in green okay i like that what about a little veranda door oh we don't really have any veranda doors it's just gotta be this one i guess <laughs> not the door i was hoping for but it's the door that we got yeah and now i think i'm gonna frame it all in with some columns oh that's gonna be lovely that just made the whole place pop oh and i think with this uh, tower right here i want some different wallpapers what about this stony one? Oh, that could be nice i think i want that yeah i'm also gonna put up these what are these called Ceramic canopy, but why the? Okay, that's the name I have. Gotta put them up. And I'm also gonna try my best to put up some vines. We don't have a great selection, but I'm gonna try my hardest. And I'm also gonna put up a sweet, sweet fuse box. I don't know if it's good to have it outside, but I'm putting it up outside. <laughs> and also a plastic chair. Wow. Oh, and this thing on the roof. How could I forget? I'm gonna put that up too. And okay, do you hear? Here is the exterior of the house, all done and dusted. Do not ask me about the vines in the house. I began doing them, and then I realized that I hated it. <laughs> then I figured that I might do the landscaping before i start with the vines in the house so do not look at them okay i no we're not gonna look at them okay so <laughs> let's begin with the landscaping that is el importanta so i want this place to look like a street a real old street so maybe we can put this on a little foundation just a teeny tiny one though kind of sort of like so and then i'm gonna make a little platform around here maybe along those lines i'm not sure and then i'm gonna put in some stony bricks to make my street <laughs> and then maybe in there I can have some plants. And then I'm gonna frame that little flower bed in with some rocks if I can find some. Oh, it's gonna be these, but I need to size them down. All right. So I'm just gonna line them up, sort of like so. Make a nice old flower bed for us. Hopefully, it's gonna be nice. I don't know. And ta ta, a tiny little flower bed for us today. What else can we have up now? I mean, we can have a little bench right there for a little bench moment with a bike on the side. <laughs> I don't know why, but I am. Oh, and a little flower. And we can also have like another broken part right there. Okay, that's lovely. I like that. And in this little hole right here, we can have some plants, maybe. I can squeeze another one in there. Oh, and then I can have this one popping along around there. Okay, I like that moment. I like it. And then I'm gonna put a little mailbox right there. Yes. And also, for some reason, what if we just have a plant right there that's just sticking out of the ground through the stony cracks? Yeah. <laughs> and <I'm, laughs> I don't know why, but I felt like it. So I did it, really. Oh, and we can also have a grill moment. Yes. And a little stool. Plastic stool. And also some trash cans. That is important. Ooh, and we can also have a well or a fountain. I found, I mean, just right there with a big old grass patch also. This is the forgotten area, people. But alrighty, that was the landscaping of this place and I do really like it. It looks like a little city up in here. I do see so myself. Yeah, okay. Okay. 
All right, let's uh, start working on the inside, shall we? <laughs> so for the wallpaper and flooring for this place, what are we gonna go for? Ooh, what if we go for this sort of vibe? The wood wall, that is a nice color. Okay, I like that. And then the flooring, we go for a nice dark flooring. Yeah, a bob and a half. And then what are we gonna do? Maybe the kitchen? That could be a fun idea for us, the kitchen. And ooh, okay, we of course need to go for the home chef household. No, I can't remember what it's called, but it's called something. That is a nice fridge. And then for the counters. Oh my gosh, we have so many options in the counters. I would have never guessed that, but I think I'm gonna go for the four rent ones because those are my favorite. Ooh, and then we need a stove. What stove am I gonna go for? Yeah, we could go for this one, but we can also go for this one. And I think that one, that's kind of nice. Kind of cool and fresh. Oh yes, I like that. And then for the sink, I mean, we have to go with this one. Boom, that's a nice sink. And then I think I'm gonna change up the wallpaper behind the kitchen to something funky. Ooh, green. Yes, beautiful. And now I just really need to put in my cabinets. What a lovely, lovely day. <laughs> you know what? I really did manage to make that window work. Sort out with this kitchen. <laughs> that was the only tiny window we had, okay? And I think I made it work. And it was also let me put in some knickity knacks. And we have a good selection of knickity knacks, actually. Because of the home chef hustle kit. No, I really cannot remember what it's called. What is it called? The home chef hustle. Okay. Home chef hustle step back. Right. I'm gonna remember that and I'm gonna forget it. That's just life. And look at this cute old kitchen. It turned out so nice. I like it. Look, I even got a little stand mixer and a waffle machine and everything you could ever need. All right. Now for the dining room. Do we have a good dining table. Okay, we have. Okay, good. I was so worried about the tables. I thought it was gonna be this and I was gonna have a problem. Okay, but we have this. Good. Then we need some chairs. I mean, these chairs can work. I like those chairs. For rent really does have some good stuff and I am surprised and I like being surprised when the surprise is positive. Ooh, and then we need some curtains. Can these curtains work for that window? If I just maneuver them around a little bit like so. I mean, yeah, okay. And then this window right here. Can you fit a curtain on? Yeah, I just have to maneuver it around with tool mod, I guess. Like every time I put up curtains. Oh. And then and what am I gonna put in those little holes? I am not sure. <laughs> what if I put in this? Is that too far? No, I don't think so. And I'm also gonna put in the plant. Boom. Happy, happy with that. <laughs> Alright, so for the living room, what are we gonna do for the living room? Do we have any good couches? Yeah. We have this couch. Oh, but where am I gonna put the couch? Oh no. Can't really have the couch here because we have windows there. And I can't have the couch here because we have a bathroom. I can't really have it there either. Can I have it here? Uh, I mean, that's gonna be pretty weird. I'll fix that with something. Maybe I can put up a curtain or something. I don't, I don't know. But I want my couch here. And then we can put up a funky carpet. Boom. And a TV. And a TV table. With some nicky knacks on that. If I can find them. As usual. Can or I find them in this economy? I don't know. I mean, yeah, she kind of did. The selection is uh, pretty slim. But you know, you know. Okay, and then this situation. I can just put up some curtains. All maneuver-like-ish. Libidish. And then I can have a bookshelf right there. Because we need something there. Oh, we don't have a bookshelf. Okay, well. Base game. We go. I mean, yeah. It looks all right with the curtains. It's not my favorite thing that I've ever done. But it needed to be done because of the couch. Um, moving on. So in this little corner, we can have a desk maybe. Oh, and we have no desks. Okay. Well, best game we go. Boom, shamalam. And then what am I gonna put on there? Maybe a computer? Oh, we don't have a computer either. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> I'm gonna put up me nicky knacks, me desk nicky knacks. If they're awesome, I mean, good golly gosh. And that's a lovely, lovely little corner, if I do say so. Myself. Oh, that carpet is wrong. It's not supposed to be like that. Ah, well, to the bathroom we go. What are we gonna do for the bathroom? We need some nice wallpaper. Ooh, what about this one? Okay, that's kind of funky. I like it. And a nice warm floor. Boom. Then I can put up a sink right there with some sinky nicky knacks. Ooh, yes. And then we need a bathtub. And we have a bathtub. We're gonna squeeze that in right there with some towels. And then we need a toilet. What toilets do we have? Oh, we have these ones. Okay, squat toilet. There they go. And ooh, what are we gonna do for the doors, by the way? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I put a random base game door in just to remember that this was supposed to be a separate room. But I can't do that. I need to use me pack doors. Oh, that door doesn't fit. I'm gonna say no to that door. <laughs> and the other door. I mean, they're not gonna fit. No, 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 no. <gasps> I think I'm gonna use my first veto, actually. I'm gonna say no to these doors. I'm gonna veto them. Now I'm gonna put in a base game door. Which one, though? This one. Yeah, okay. Simple enough. I have now used up all my vetoes. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of sad, but okay. And then for the primary bedroom, we need a good bed. We have this bed, but I'm gonna use this bed. That's lovely. With, of course, some bedside tables. And these forget them. Never, ever forgetting the bedside tables. Why am I singing to myself? I don't even know. It's way too early to be singing. Really. But any hustles, put up my little nicky knacks. I scrounged them up and also <laughs> put up some tapestries. We don't have a good selection of pictures, you know. Uh, we have the whale bathroom thing and then these two a thingy thingy. But there's just not a lot to choose from, <laughs> alright. But I'm gonna put up a white lily double dresser right there. And I'm gonna squeeze in the chair as well. And can I squeeze in the plant as well? Yeah, yeah. 
as we the plant in people. Ooh, and then the bathroom. We need bathroom stuff and perhaps some flooring. That could have been really nice for us. And maybe I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, that's so lovely. Oh, right. I'm gonna put up my sink and the mirror. And what else am I gonna put up? Ooh, I have a lot of options. Okay. What is Nora gonna do? I don't even know. I mean, that was way too many options for Nora. What has she done? I'm not gonna have another toothbrush there. No, no, no. But <laughs> did a lot of stuff. So enjoy your mess. Apple. But I'm gonna put in a toilet for them because I'm very nice today. And a little toilet roll. <laughs> and another toilet roll. I'm not really sure if you use toilet paper with this type of toilet. Maybe you would use a bidet. But we don't have a bidet in this game. So toilet paper it is. But this was indeed a very lovely, lovely bathroom. I really like the vibes of this place. I like it. Okay. Now for the nursery. What are we gonna do for the nursery, people? What are we gonna do? I mean, we need some cribs. And is there any cribs? No. Okay. Base game we go. <laughs> and now we're gonna have a pink one and a blue one. Yeah. And also a carpet. Wow. Ooh, and I can use this little poof moment to be a little table. And can I find something to put on that table? I mean, yeah, she kind of did. I don't know what I put on there, but I put something on there. And yes, this one, that is from the base game, but we don't have any electronics. So I could go base game for that. And I'm just pretending that that is a baby monitor or something, something, something. So put that up there. Ooh, and then I think actually this wall could be a funky wall. Maybe that color. That's kind of cute. I like that. And then for the curtains, me peeps, I need to figure out the curtains. I think I want to do something like so. That could be nice, couldn't it? And then for these windows, I'm just gonna have a normal one. So the babies don't get nightmares about the curtains, you know? Keep it simple, people. Keep it simple. And then right here, we can have a little dresser moment. This one? Yeah. Seems about nice. Seems about nice. Seems about right. Maybe we need some stuff on there. And can I find something? Ooh, Ty Bird from the debug menu. Oh, he is so cute. I'm gonna put him up there. Oh, and we have this creepy little doll and Tuk Tuk Goose. All right. <laughs> a wonderful selection for us today, I must say. And I also put up the gramophone because yet again, we don't have any electronics. And um, it looks cool. Do not think about Graham. Do not. No. But <laughs> I'm gonna put up a chair in that corner <gasps> with little Tibbet. Yes. And also another little stool. And I can put a lamp on that. Shabaling shabalom. And also a little party. A chamber pot. And yes, I know that the babies do not use a chamber pot. But one day they will. And for that day, they are ready. Ooh, and then right here I can have this thing. Oh, that's gonna be lovely. And what are we gonna have on there? I don't know. Maybe this. That could be nice. And also some other things. That could also be nice. And also that little cat. Because we have nothing else to put on the wall. Really. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, and then what about the third floor? This was going to be an office moment. So, ooh. What if we put up this one? The archaeology workbench. Yeah. <gasps> and then we can put up a lot of shelves around here. And fill that up with books and stuff. Oh, that's gonna be so lovely. Oh, why is it like that? The shelf? Why is it dark? Excuse me? What? Okay, I'm not gonna put in these shelves. They were weird. Okay, I'm gonna use these shelves then. Not really the vibe that I was hoping for today. But, um, you know, that's the vibe that we got. So, I'm gonna place the shelves all around town. Like so. And yes, they are sticking out. I know that. <laughs> but I'm gonna find something to hide that up with. Okay? Don't you worry. I'm gonna fix it. And then I need to find some books. Do we have any books? No. Well, I... I okay. <laughs> okay, I can then use space game for these books. And I'm also gonna put up some decorations. So, maybe some little statues from their adventures. There's some candles. Because I have them. <laughs> and something else. Something, something. Let's find this out together. On this journey. And alrighty, yo. Here are my shelf Nikiri Nags. And I love them so much. Isn't that adorable? Put up some books. A lot, a lot of books. And I also put up some statues. Some relics. A little teapot. Some candles. I said I was gonna put in candles. I mean, it's so adorable. I love it. So much. Okay, dokie. What else are we gonna put in now? Maybe some curtains. What type of curtains do we want? Ooh, a yellow one. That could be nice. I just need to put them up with me tool mod again. Ah. But there we go. Me curtains are up. Now, I wanna sit back and relax and put up my chair. That one though. Then I can put up some vases. And also a little pool for a poof moment. And an end table right there. And what are we gonna have on that end table? I mean, we can have a lamp. Sure. And then I am indeed gonna put up some carpets. Now I'm gonna layer the carpets to make a fun little moment. <laughs> I mean, we can have this one on top of that. Okay, I kind of like that. And what are we gonna have in that little nook over there? Hmm, interesting. What about a water heater? Sure, works for me. <laughs> okay, well, next up, the bathroom. The teeny tiny bathroom. What are we gonna have in here? I think I want this wallpaper. Oh, that's lovely. And then we need a sink. And also a mirror. That's important. Boom. And also some sink. Naked and axe, you know, you know. Got my towels, got my toothbrushes. I got everything. And then a toilet to wrap it all up with this uh, toilet mat. <laughs> and another toilet roll. And with that, I do believe that house one is now done. Oh, wow. I'm gonna do the whole house tour in the end when I've done all four houses. We're gonna do four houses today, people. <gasps> if I can manage it, though. Hopefully. But yeah, house one is done. Well, all 
Alrighty, let's start with house number two. And what is that gonna be? I do wonder. So here I am again in the random pack generator. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous, but I'm kind of nervous. So uh, <laughs> let's generate, shall we? Oh, we shall. Okay, okay. That's not that bad. Horse Ranch, one of my favorite packs. Artist Studio Kit, not that bad either. My first pet step though. What the freaking frack am I gonna use from that? And Strangerville. Uh, I mean, sure, they don't have the best stuff, but uh, <laughs> okay, okay. I'm trying to convince myself that this is good. Let's also spin for the family members, shall we? One, two, three, spin that wheel. Mm -hmm. Two people. Okay, that's good. That's good. I can do that. And uh, let's also see what those family members are gonna be. Spin. Okay, an adult. Mm, that's good. We have an adult people. <laughs> okay, let's spin for the second one. Ooh. An animal slash pets. All right. All right. Ooh, we got the horse ranch pack. <gasps> they have horses. They have mini goats. I think we're in the clear. Right, 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 right. What house are we going to make? I don't even know. Let's try to make a little ranch. I, I think that's good for us to make a little ranch. So let's start with the box. We can add some interest with some bumps out here. Not like that though. That was horrible. Like so. Oh wow. That was so much better people. <laughs> and we can also like add a bump right there. I don't know. Create some interest. Some shapes. Some character. And I can make another shape on the second floor. And I'm gonna make some more shapes. Okay. So here is my lovely lovely box. Isn't it something? I <laughs> Maybe it is something. I don't know what I'm doing right now. But I'm doing something. I'm making a ranch people. I'm making a ranch. Alright. Now for the roof. I gotta get this roof done. So maybe we can start with this one. Just plop it along there. And then have another roof. That goes the other way, people. And I do think I want a little terrace roof. Is that what it's called? I'm not sure, but one of those roofs that you see on ranches and stuff like that. I want one of those. And I'm gonna make one of those. Just like so. My little ranch. Alright, and now for the big question. The wallpaper. Do we have anything good? I mean, yeah, we do. We got the horse ranch pack. Saving us today. Oh, and then before I do anything else, I just need to do the layout real quick to see if this house actually works. You know, you know? <laughs> I think that's kind of important. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. This is the first floor, people. So we need a staircase and an entrance. That would be good. So maybe the entrance part can be this long old hallway right there. And then the living room can be there. And then the kitchen can be there with a little dining nook. And then this part. I mean, I think we can squeeze in the bathroom right there. I think that's good. And then on the second floor. Ooh, I don't even know. Maybe one of them can be a bathroom. <gasps> a bathroom slash walk-in closet. That could be a funky idea. And then the rest of the room is just a normal bedroom because there's only one person living in this house with their pet, you know. So they can have an open bedroom like that, I feel so. Yeah. Good planning, Nora. I like it. Right. Now for the windows. What are we gonna do for the window situation? I mean, I do think we can go for these windows from the Stranger Veil pack. They seem to fit in. That's lovely. What about the front door? Yikes. Yeah, that's too big for us. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be this door. Even though that's more of an inside door, we're just gonna use it. People lips. Just gotta use it. Oh, and then I'm also gonna put up some columns everywhere to frame this whole building. In. And it's gonna be lovely. And I can also add in this chimney. And then I'm gonna put another chimney on top of that chimney. To make a big old chimney, people. Yes, I did it. Ooh, we can also have a little satellite dish. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. Pretty neat and done. Pretty neat and done. I don't even know what that means. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so this is the exterior of the house. And I do now believe it is time for some landscaping. Ooh. So first of all, we need a little gate. So what gate can we get for them? I mean, this is too big. What about this one? That could indeed be a vibe. A wob. Right, and then we need a little pathway up to the house. And I think I'm gonna use this. And I'm also gonna frame that pathway in with some rocks. And what rocks do we have? Not much, but I can use these as a little pathway, can't I? If I just try my hardest. And Nora did try her hardest. It doesn't look that good, but if I put up more rocks, it's just gonna clip into each other. And I don't, I don't feel like it. And I think I'm also gonna use the same rocks to frame in our little flower beds that's gonna be in front of here that I have decided in my mind. So I'm just gonna put them up all neat and nicely. Oh, this is gonna be hard. But yeah, I'm gonna put up me rocks. Then I'm gonna find some beautiful flowers. And I'm gonna put those flowers and plants in those flower beds. If I can find some plants though. Because, oh yikes. And that is looking pretty lovely. If I do this all myself. You know, we got some squaggly plants up in there. Now, I'm not an expert on plants. But I know that some of these are like hot climate plants. And the other... I'm not even gonna try. I'm not an expert on plants. <laughs> but I know what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna put up some more plants. And if they're wrong for this sort of environment or not. I don't know. But <laughs> I'm gonna put them up and let's see what happens uh, and alrighty here's all the plants that i've put up i'll need nicely put up some dead trees put up some rocks put up plants around the whole house bobbity bobbity bum and then for the crown jewel i'm gonna put in some terrain paint to make it a little bit more desert like you know because that's needed when it's supposed to be a ranch in a warm climate that's what i have in my mind <laughs> so i'm gonna paint along and it's gonna be nice and 
here is the outside all painted up and i did my best people all right let's uh, step inside my little house <laughs> and we can start furnishing this house and i'm kind of nervous oh what are we gonna begin with on the inside let's find out i mean we can do the hallway and uh archway we kind of need an archway in the entryway <laughs> but these are so big they're gonna take up so much space oh gee believe that's not gonna work for nora so i think i'm gonna use my first veto for this build because that archway is just not gonna work it's so huge it's massive so let's just use these base game instead i'm probably gonna regret this big time but it's needed people it's needed and then for the wallpaper i mean <laughs> oh no the wallpaper selection for the inside is not that um good you know we, we got this and then we got this and the rest of it is just normal outside wallpaper i mean uh, okay we gotta go for this it's the only one we have really it's the only one we shall ever have to what? okay so first of freaking all what sort of tables do we have oh okay this one is not bad i'm gonna take that and then i just need to find some nicotine next to put on that table uh, i mean <laughs> oh no okay i'm gonna manage i'm gonna pull through guys just for you all right so i tried to find some stuff <laughs> it was kind of difficult because there isn't a lot of stuff that makes sense but i put some flowers some decorations and uh, that's age bowl and i hope you're happy with that can i put up a picture too i mean i could put up this collage that's not that bad is it i mean sure i'll take it and then i can put up this rug yes the entrance rug entrance door rug and i can also put up this shelf thingy thingy that's good actually and just some woven tapestry never hurt anybody really well okie dokie that's a nice little simple hallway entryway moment right there what about the kitchen what's gonna happen in the kitchen people oh we have counters that's good me making go for a little green moment actually that seems about right for today but not all days though and then we need a fridge we do not have a fridge okay into base game we go <laughs> i mean we can go for this one that fits in and then we need a stove i can put the stove right there what a nice old moment we're gonna have and a sink you need to sink people oh okay now i also need some cabinets and i also need to put some nicky knacks oh that's gonna be so much fun very lovely if i can find some decorations that actually make sense though otherwise it's not gonna be lovely but we shall see there we go i put up the kitchen and me nicky knacks i actually managed to find some kitchen nicky knacks who would have thunk it not me and also put up a little stone wall for the accent peas and i'm also gonna put up some columns to frame the kitchen in oh that was the wrong side here we go <laughs> i fixed it and i'm also gonna put up this thing and also a little stool <laughs> and then we do indeed need a dining table and these are the two dining tables we have are you kidding me all right well this one is too big and this one is also kind of massive but we can squeeze that in if we just put in some chairs too on one side only i mean there's only one person living here so they can manage they can freaking manage people okay and then oh we need it we need a pet oh but gee well i don't think we can squeeze in a horse you know that's gonna take up too much space <laughs> but what we can do we can put in a rat or something oh that's horrible but and then okay we're gonna put that in and yes if you were wondering i put in a little hedgehog look at that guy he's so cute and i'm also gonna put up some postcards yes i can yes all right hedgehog is in place let's move on <laughs> and we're gonna move on to the curtains because oh my gosh we need curtains do we have any good curtains <gasps> oh no look at these curtains oh god no i can't even make them smaller because then they will be so short oh shoot me good i've already used up my veto okay well um what if i use these ones and then just size them down yeah that can work if i just scooch it out a little bit not like that though oh what did i do but something like so i squeeze them on there with tool mod real proud of that people real proud i hate them we're gonna move on i don't want to anymore we're gonna move on to the living room and what do we have in the couch section well these look very uncomfortable what about this no we're not gonna do that i'm sorry we're, we're just we're not we're gonna use this one and then for the coffee table oh that looks very nice and lovely and no we're not gonna use this one what is this i don't want the freaking fish tank coffee table in my house no we're gonna use a real real coffee table people no fish in my coffee table okay but i'm also gonna put up a little side table right there put some nicotine knacks on that and we're gonna forget about the coffee table okay we are but this rug is kind of nice i like that i like that and we give it up with this little tv table and then i'm gonna put my nicotine knacks on that and then i'm gonna go in search of a tv people and i can also squeeze in a chair in the corner oh yeah i can now i actually really wanted the fireplace now but it's either this mehusi one <laughs> that doesn't really fit <laughs> or this teeny tiny little stove i mean we could put it there if you think that is a strange place to have a stove then you should take a little trip to norway because we have our little stoves in the weirdest places you've ever seen okay we just put them up everywhere hallway stove in a weird little nook in the living room stove but anyways we are moving on <laughs> from this living room and we're gonna try to find something to squeeze in this tiny little bathroom do we have some good flooring though oh we have a dirty pattern well that's good for us okay i'm gonna put that in oh we do not have a toilet we have a pee 
bush, an outhouse, and this cat toilet. Right, I'm gonna put it in the toilet. We need an indoor toilet, okay? We register. And we also need a sink. Do we have a sink? Oh, we do. Okay. I'm gonna put you in. Oh, and I almost forgot about the mirror. Oh! Sky cat mirror. Oh, yikes. I used up my veto too quickly, people. People, what am I supposed to do with this cat mirror? We can't even see anything in there. Oh, let's get it in pink and make the best of the situation, okay? I'm going upstairs now. <laughs> let's just forget about that mirror. I don't I don't want to anymore. <laughs> All right, so the upstairs. What was the plan for upstairs? I mean, we can put up a bed. Which bed do we want? I think this one because I've used this one so many times now and we're not going to use this one. No. <laughs> and then for the bedside tables. Are we going to use the ones from my first pet? stuff pack i think we have to because we have to use something from this pack okay so they're not the worst i'm, I'm gonna use those and i'm gonna try to find some nicky knacks to hide that little table so i can be happy again oh and look at this funky funky rug that i found that is so cool i want that in real life and i'm also gonna put up this little creative pro tablet just on the bed because maybe they're an artist i'm gonna put it up you never know when you need a tablet never ever know all right and then over here we can have a desk the chair maybe that's always neat and nice this one sure what else do i have to choose from really the cat chair whatever this is this one no we're gonna have this one nice and comfortable for my little people live and i'm also gonna have some nicotine nice on <laughs> all righty so this is what i put up i put up some mess some paint brushes i put up <laughs> a little gnome <laughs> that is so cute i love him and i also put up some postcards more mess you know you know and what else can i put up i'm gonna put up my easel right there and this little cart and some paint splatters that is important oh and then in this corner can i squeeze in some bookshelves do we have bookshelves oh we do Oh, they, they're massive. And then we have this one, which, um, yeah, a very good selection, I must say. Can I size this down? Okay, I can. Nice, I think. Can I stack them on top of each other to make a little corner bookshelf? Oh my gosh, that is one thing that I wish that they had in The Sims. Like a corner bookshelf. I want that. I want more corner things. I love me some corner things, and they're so hard to make without everything glitching. Please, Sims team, I want my corner bookshelf. But maybe one day, but not today, though. Oh my gosh, what the heck am I supposed to do with this window? With the curtain situation? Like, what? Hello? This is not gonna work. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Am I, am I gonna just do this? That's ugly. Ah! I don't know. But for the bathroom, we need a sink. And I'm gonna put up this little lovely sink. And I'm also gonna put up this ugly mirror. That we're not gonna talk about, actually. We're just not. No, no, no. And I'm also gonna put up a toilet. <laughs> I mean, I have a feeling that all the bathrooms in all of the builds are gonna be a huge, huge disaster. Because how many packs comes with a full bathroom set? I can't even think of one. Oh, yikes. But I'm gonna put up this cute, cute rug. And I'm also gonna put up the bathtub. Boom. With a light, maybe. Yeah, they need a light up in there and you know what i do very much like this bathroom it's very cute and cozy oh my, my. okay onto this walk-in closet do we have walk-in closet stuff maybe i should have checked that out first <laughs> oh no do we have it okay we have clothing racks okay that's good do we have clothes though we have clothes oh my gosh i'm a genius mastermind i can see the future but alrighty house number two is now done boom ba -bum. and oh my it didn't turn out that bad i do gotta say it's all happy for that uh, i i am <laughs> alrighty oh i am back and as you can see or maybe not see the video format is kind of different i don't know if it's better or not no it's not better i bought myself a new camera and i'm trying to learn about this camera and it's going terribly it's going like straight into my obs instead of actually filming and then putting the video on anyways so i don't know what i'm doing how do i maneuver myself oh hey. and for that i am sorry but i'm trying my best but alrighty let's start with our third house shall we oh i think that is a good idea <laughs> this is kind of cool nora in nora mode mm. all right so let's go in our random pack generator and see what we shall get. Generate. Ooh. We got my writing stories, high school years, hardy essentials kit, and movie hangout stuff back. All right, I do not know what my wedding stories have to offer because um I only bought that for the shell challenges. So we shall see. High school years, I mean, they have some good stuff. Party essentials kit. What was that kit? Again, I only bought it for the shell challenges. And then we also have the movie hangout stuff back. I mean, they have some good stuff, but they're very particular. I know. But we shall see. We shall see. But let's also see how many people are gonna live in this house. So, one, two, three. Spin that wheel. Six people. Six people. Okay. Let's see who these people are. Okay, a child. We got a child, people. That's good that we have a child. Let's spin again. And it's gonna be an adult. Okay. We got an adult, at least. Let's spin again. Ooh, we got an elderly. Let's spin again. There's gonna be so many people in this house. <laughs> Another elder person. All right. Spin again. Another elderly person. 
<laughs> no way. All right, let's spin for the last person now. <laughs> Please begin. <laughs> Ooh, it's gonna be a teen. All right. Well, alrighty, oh, we got a teen. We got some adults. We got some elderly people. We got a child, even. We got it all. What a full family. So let's make them a house. A house. What house are we gonna go for? Maybe we can make some sort of Mediterranean-ish house. That could be a good idea. This could be like a little vacation home, couldn't it? I think it could. All right, let's make this shape. Do I, do I like that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a very easy shape. And then on top here, I can go something like so. So we have a little veranda moment right there and right there. Yeah. And then for the wallpaper, what do we want to go for? I mean, we don't really have that much to choose from, but maybe some bricks of academia. <laughs> sure. And then this part can be another brick just for the contrast. El contrastos. And then, ooh, that part right there, we can use some arches to make a little outside area. We don't have any arches. Well, perfect. Uh, <laughs> then I'm going to use my base game and I'm going to plop in some arches. It's not my fault that we don't have them. It's not my fault. And then for the roof, I mean, I want a simple little roof that goes sort of like so. so, so. And I also want some nice roof tiles. Ah, oh, Mediterranean roof tiles. Yes. Lovely. All right. So now that we got some of our shape of our house, we need to start working on the inside to make this layout. So let me do that real quick. Wait. Oh my gosh. How am I going to fit six people in this house? Six people. But I'm going to try my best. Okay. I'm going to try my best. All right. Welcome back. I have a... <laughs> I have kind of tried to make a little layout for this house. It wasn't really that easy to make this layout. I do got to say to fit six people. But I'm thinking that this place is some sort of like a holiday place you know a family vacation home kind of a deal that's what i have in my mind but anyways here we have the entryway and then a kitchen and dining space now we have a living room and then upstairs we have a hallway a bathroom another little teeny tiny hallway and then a bedroom and then another bedroom yes those are some tiny tiny bedrooms for six people but bank beds me friend bank beds <laughs> okay well let's continue on with the exterior of the house <laughs> Ghibli. okay so for the door i mean we can have this door that's fine Banora. Okay, now for the windows. Ooh, we have these windows. Those are kind of nice. Aren't down? I'm gonna have them in white. Because I don't know where I'm going in life. I mean, is this door a balcony door or... It's probably not a balcony door, but what else am I gonna use? This one? No. I'm not gonna use that one. And then for this little part right here, I kind of want some columns to frame it all in. And oh, these are the only columns we have. Do I want to use my veto on a column? Do I? Hold on. I need to zoom in. No, that's not how you zoom in. Oh, there. Do I? <laughs> I don't know. I have to see about the columns if I'm gonna veto them or not because there might be something more terrible than those columns oh um, there might be people right <laughs> and then i am indeed thinking to have a whole outside area right here and i'm gonna make that outside area by putting it on our foundation oh the floor didn't come with what am i thinking about i don't know there we go outside area <laughs> it's been a long day and then <laughs> and then i also kind of want a pool can i squeeze a pool in here i mean i kind of did okay i'm gonna have a pool there and then on me exterior walls i am thinking of putting up these vines can that work kinda. But on this balcony right here, I'm gonna put up some sun lounges and this little stool as a table and some stuff on that table and maybe a plant in the corner. <laughs> ugly, ugly plant. And also this flower arrangement. Oh, that is huge. But I like the vibe of it. Yes. Oh, and then for this outside area, I do want a little bar moment. That can be cool. This is a vacation home, so yeah. And then we can get some more sun lounges in pink. Oh, and I almost forgot the chairs for the bar. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> I try my best. I really do but sometimes it doesn't work and by this outside area we can have this cozy little couch and a table and i put some cute old flowers in the basket on the table we can also have the egg chair wow and actually also another chair <laughs> oh and i also need to paint the walls why didn't i do that i am embarrassed and badass there we go and on this balcony we can put up a table and a plant maybe what else can i put up i can put up this thing i don't know what it is but i'm gonna put it up <laughs> and now people i did have a little thinkity thankity thought and that thought was to put up a lot a lot a lot of rocks and plants around this whole place. I'm going to frame it all in with some rocks and some plants. And I think it's going to be... <laughs> I don't know. We shall see how it goes. I think it's going to be lovely though. Maybe. I mean, yeah. We can only hope that it's going to be lovely. <laughs> And a radio. Here it is, the landscaping. I used way too much time on this. I put up so many plants. I went overboard. I mean, look at this. So many plants. I cannot even defend myself with this. I know. I have no words. But yeah, I think I'm done with the outside. As you can see, it's not the prettiest thing I've ever made. But I think we've established this by now that these houses are not going to be 10 out of 10 houses because we have limited packs and limited time and also limited creativity when Nora's around. That, that's what happens. But let's start on the inside, shall we? I do not want to see the outside. 
white animal. No more. Oh. No more. <laughs> okay, so for the wallpapers for the inside, I mean, I think we gotta go for this one. That isn't that horrible. Because what else do we have to choose from? Really? Not much. And then the flooring. Oh, we only have that flooring. That's right. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Wait. No, 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 no. I am gonna get so dizzy looking at that if every single floor is that pattern. I am vetoing that. I am vetoing away. Away. All right, best game. Give me a nice flooding. What about this one? I want it to be a little bit Mediterranean. You know, you know? That could be nice. You know what? I like that vibe. Good enough for me. And oh, wait. There's a plant sticking through the wall. Hello. Oh, it's the fence. But I like that fence there. Why is it sticking through the wall, though? Confused, not a phase. Both of us. Me and little Nora. But all right. I'm, I'm just gonna ignore that. And I'm gonna put up my hallway table. That's kind of a nice table. And I do have to say that it is nice because that's the only table we have. <laughs> but you know, I, I'm gonna put up some flowers as well. And also some mirrors. Oh, what about a uh, carpet for the door? The carpet situation is horrible, by the way. I, I, I'm <laughs> that's all I gotta say. And I can also put up a chair. And then, ooh, what if we have a little curtain moment over the door? Over the door by the archway? That could be kind of fun to liven up this uh, place. Yeah. And yes, I know that I put up only one flower on that table, but this is supposed to be a vacation a rental home. So you wouldn't have a lot of stuff in that place, you know? Just trying to be realistic. Okay, let's do the kitchen. And I know that this is very controversial, but I need the kitchen to be right by the doorway, you know? Oh, we have no fridges. Well, base game it is. I can go with this fridge and some nice little counters from base game again. And also stuff. Bob. But yeah, I'm gonna have the kitchen here because we need a big old dining table for the six people in this house. And the dining table needs needs to be here. So, yeah. But I can put up this cute little tea set for them, though. That I can do. And whatever this is. What is that? Cups and straw station. Okay, I'm gonna put that up, too. <laughs> All right, so the dining table. Please set up here something good. Okay, we do. We can use this one in blue. And then I'm gonna pair it up with this carpet. No, I do not like that carpet. Do not ask any more questions. It's the best carpet we got right now. <laughs> But you know what else I can put up? I can put up these balloons. I, I okay. <laughs> oh, and also there's a corner shelf thingy thing. Oh, that's kind of cute. That's very nice indeed. Right, now for the living room. Hey, Paul. Okay, that's not a terrible couch. I can put these up. And also a little coffee table. Not my favorite coffee table, but all right. And then for the carpet situation. What if actually I put up these two rugs, squeeze them next to each other like that, and then I take uh, one of these rugs, <laughs> and then I just bring them under there like so. So the frills are sticking out, and I bring these carpets back on top. Oh, Bring it on top, girl. No, I said on top. Boom. And it doesn't really fit um perfectly. <laughs> but I'm trying my best. I can hide it up with some confetti. Whoa. No, but I am going to put up a disco ball. Wow. His living room is going places where I don't know where. <laughs> but, all right. I'm also going to make my own a little makeshift uh, TV station over there. And do we have a TV? Please say that we don't. Oh, we do. Oh, okay. We got this TV, which is a little bit too big to squeeze in between those windows. What else do we have? We have this. Okay. Well, fantastic. I love life. We both love life. Well, I don't know about the TV anymore. I'm just gonna put some stuff up and uh, hope for the best. Look at those little flowers. Wow. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna put up that TV. I have sized it down a little bit, but uh, <laughs> and it's casting a wide halo. But we're not gonna look at it too much. We're gonna move on to the other side. No, we're not. We're not done here. I am gonna put up a pool and some balloons in the corner. <laughs> and then, oh, we can have this. Oh, that is so cool. That's the only good thing from the Party Essentials kit. The only good thing in there, I tell you. But what I was sort of maybe thinking, could we please put up more? <laughs> of these. <gasps> oh, we need to put up that one. That is a vibe. I'm gonna put that up. And I'm also gonna put up me curtains. And then what if, just hear me out, what if under the curtains we have these um luminescent ribbons? <laughs> because why not? I think I've officially given up this <laughs> living room. It's a party living room for the children and the elderly people. Oh, gee, but Joan. What happened to my carpet, by the way? Get back to your place. Get back to your place. There you go. What a horrible, horrible living room. All right. But I'm gonna move on to the bathroom upstairs. And we can have a little funky moment up in there. I think I've just switched the colors of the wallpaper and the flooring. Reversed it. Literally, I think that's what I did. But anyways, bathroom. What do we have for the bathroom? Well, we have some sinks. Really golly me. And I can do my little mirror trick with these mirrors. Such I like so. And I can also put up some hand soaps and toothbrushes. Oh, and this carpet. That's lovely. And then we need a toilet. Why is it so dark in here? Interesting. But right, I'm gonna put up a little plant of the toilet because we have it. <laughs> and I need to use it. And also a candle. There we go. Now it's not so dark. Oh, and a towel. Yes, this is from the base game. 
bathroom, but we don't have any towels, so I'm allowed to use that. We literally have no bathroom stuff. <laughs> so, yikes. Oh, and we have no shower. Good. Base game it is again. Bam. Oh, and I can't forget me curtains if I can get them on the window. There we go. <laughs> All right, so for the hallway, people. The hallway. I've already put up a half wall right there because I didn't like any of the fences. So half wall it is. And now I'm going to put in a desk moment for them. Ooh, you can have a little desk right there. You know, it's important to have desk moments when you're on vacation. If you want to do something, be away from your family for a little while, you know, you can have a desk moment in the hallway. <laughs> and I'm going to put up this picture because there's not much to choose from. I don't want posters on these walls. I want a real picture. I mean, what am I? <laughs> okay, bedroom number one. Do we have any bunk beds? No. So then I am allowed to use bunk beds because we need bunk beds. Base game bunk beds. And I'm going to put in this one and that one. And then for the bottom beds, I am going to use the beds from high school years. Done. And also a little desk moment. And my timetable for us. And then the curtains. Do I want those blinds or this curtain? Or I can have both. Yeah, I think I'm going to have both. That's something you would have in a bedroom. So good enough for Nora. Ooh, and we can have this cute little mirror right there. Oh, that's lovely. And this chair. And the lamp. Oh, and a closet. Ooh, how many people was that? That was four. Okay, we need <laughs> one more bunk bed. And I'm going to put in this brown bunk bed to get some variation with this brown bed underneath. Yeah. Just a little bit of variation. A little bit of... Oh no. Variation. Oh, and of course, a closet. And they can also get this fish poster. There you go. And a little carpet for the outside. You never know what happens on the outside. And what is this? A ball light. I'm gonna go with that one because um, the other standing lamp that we have is so massive. I don't know. And with that, I do believe that we're done with the third house. Whoa. What a monstrosity this house was. I mean, it started out pretty good, but then it turned into a full-on party house. I mean, where are the elderly people gonna stay? The bank beds? I mean, sure. They can stay at the bottom of the bank beds. They're all party people, this family, okay? Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Well, all righty tighty toe. Let's begin with house number four and the last house of today. So yet again, let's pull up our random pack generator and let's generate. Ooh. Oh, get to work. That is a bad pack for the build by mode. That is a bad pack. <laughs> and burst of dust. Okay, I shouldn't have put burst of dust. <laughs> That's one of the options. It's just vacuums. Why did... Okay, anyways. But we also got... Ooh, realm of magic and paranormal normal stuff. Oh, so I got two really good packs and two really bad packs. I don't know how to feel about this. I honestly don't know how to feel about this. This is really good, but also really bad. Well, all right. Let's also see how many people are gonna live in this house. Ooh, three people. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Now, who are these people? We're gonna find out now. One, two, three. Spin that wheel. Oh, it's gonna be an adult. Yes, it's gonna be an adult. Good. Two people left. Spin it, Nora. <laughs> and it's gonna be a young adult. Okay, that's good. Who's the third person? Uh, it's gonna be an animal. <laughs> Smash pets. Great. Those are my peeps. All right, all right, all right. So it's gonna be a very, very magical place, this one. With also get to work and burst the dust. But it's gonna be magical, people. So what are we gonna build? I mean, it's gonna be magical. So maybe a little tower. And then we can have a huge old clump, like so, maybe. Ooh, and then we can have a diagonal room for some shenanigans. I mean, sure, that's wonderful for me. For us, I mean, it's gonna be magical. I've also made a little octagonal shape on the back here, too. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but that's uh, future is known as problem. I'm gonna do the roof now. And what can we start with? I mean, you can do the tower first. That's easy peasy. Add a little tower guy. Something like so. And then the other roofs. Oh, yikes. I mean, we can have a roof right here and then just drag it along, you know? And I can also have a funky, funky roof right there. I like the little swingy this one. And then on the back here, what am I gonna do with that roof? What if I do that sort of arc again and then I just plop another roof on there? Yeah, okay. What else can I do? I just put in two little teeny tiny roofs on the side there, hoping for the best, really. <laughs> And then what about this roof? I mean, that can be that squiggle line. Beautiful. I love it. Immaculate. 10 out of 10. Would never build that again. Okay, and then for the wallpaper, I'm thinking sort of like so. This sort of vibe. I mean, we don't have a lot to choose from here. That we do need. So <laughs> this one it is. And it could be a lighter shade on the other ones. Yeah, okay. We just gotta be okay with it, people. Okay, so I don't know. And then for the door. What door do I want? Do I want this? No. This? No. Okay, it's gonna be this one. And then for the other windows. Oh, not the best selection. I mean, we got some prison windows and stuff. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be the magical vibes today. And only the magical vibes. Oh, I need a small little window to put up there. What can that be? Maybe this one. Oh, Ghibli, okay. Just gotta be. And what windows am I gonna put on the tower? What if I put up these ones and I just kind of alternate them? <laughs> sort of like so, you know? It could be a vibe, people. Oh, and then for the inside of the house. Oh, Ghibli, I did not think about the inside of the house. I am kind of panicking. All right, welcome back. I have done a quick little layout of this place. And I'm really, really happy with it, as you can tell by my face. So right here, we have the entryway and then we have a living room kitchen and a dining room and right there i don't know what that's gonna be maybe a shed who knows and then on the second floor 
all, we got another hallway, and then a bathroom, a bedroom, and an office. Ta-ta! <laughs> Very impressed with that. And then I was thinking of putting up some columns on this house, but I hate every single column that's in here. And I don't know if I want to veto the columns, because something worse might show up, you know. Ooh, ooh, Nora had an idea. What if I take these reinforcement beams, put them on the house, to make some framing? I just need to size them up a little bit for too much. But can that work? I mean, I'm gonna try that out, but who knows what's gonna happen. All right, I tried out the column thing, and <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it yet. I mean, I know, obviously, they don't reach all the way down, because they're not tall enough, but I think I can hide that up with something. Maybe some plants, I don't know. But I kind of like the vibe. But now I need to figure out how I'm gonna hide up all the mess. How am I gonna make this place magical? Uh, I don't know. <gasps> okay, I had an idea. We had an idea. What if I raise this house up to high, high heavens, like so, and then I place lots and lots of rocks just all around this house to make it look like it's on a mountain, you know? That could be an idea, because then it's kind of magical, and I will then hide up the columns. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Am I ready for that, though? <laughs> I don't even know these days. Okay, I also need to put up some platforms so we can get up to this house. Oh, <laughs> That, that is right. And what type of stairs do we have? Ah, industrial strength stair system. Sure, I'm not gonna veto that. I'm gonna save my vetoes because I just know something is coming up. But I'm gonna make some platforms. Like show, and I'm gonna put my stairs on. Not like that. What am I doing? Ah, there we go. Oh, and before I start with the big mountain by the house, I'm gonna put up some little rocks here too to frame that little pathway in. Before I forget, ah, a little pathway like it so with me rocks. All right, now I am gonna put up the rest of the rocks. I know that I'm procrastinating, but I'm gonna put them up right now. Watch me. I'm doing it. And would you look at that? Nora put up all her freakity freakity rocks. <laughs> that took such a long time, but I think it was worth it. It looks pretty cool if I do this on myself. Look at that. I like it. If you can actually get into this house, that's not my problem, but it looks cool. <laughs> Oh, and then I think I'm also gonna put up a little pond right there. Get a little pond moment. What if I... Oh, it scares me every time I make a pond, people. It really does. <laughs> but I must say, I really like that pond. Oh my gosh. It's so magical and spooky up in there. Wow. And then, for the piece of resistance. Oh, I'm sorry. The piece of the resistance. <laughs> and yes, if you are wondering, it is 10 freaking p.m. So, um, yeah. I'm having a wonderful time. But now, for the start of the show, if I can find it, where is it? I am gonna put up these crystals just in between the rocks everywhere. And I'm just gonna squeeze them in everywhere I go. And it's gonna be lovely. Oh, I kind of like that already. And oh my gosh, that is so cute. I love it. Look at that. It really looks like a magical little mountain over there. I am happy with the landscaping, but now we need to move on inside, people. Okay, so for the inside, let me just get this out of the way. I need to put it in the staircase. I know it's ugly, but I'm gonna save my veto just in case. Oh, by the way, a lot of the rocks is sticking through the wall, but I'm gonna fix that in the end. Okay, not right now. I'm over the rocks. I am instead gonna put in some flooring. What we have oh yeah we have this flooring which i do not like we have this flooring which is okay but it can be a bit too much and then the other ones they can go and die like what the heck is this it comes in one shade and that is it all right what about the wallpaper oh the wallpaper i mean we <laughs> oh, no. i'm just gonna put up this it's the only choice we have really it's gonna be a magical house people it is <laughs> i promise you but i think for the entryway what if you have something different Ooh, hold on a minute i kind of like this wallpaper i know it's like tiles that you will most likely use for a bathroom or a kitchen, but I like the color. And we need to be inventive in these situations. So I'm gonna put that up here. And I'm also gonna put up this table with some table nickety knacks, actually. That is well much needed in this place. <laughs> oh, and this very, very creepy picture of a house fits in just right there. Oh, and of course, a broom. Hello, we are in the witch's house. And what can I squeeze in that little corner, by the way? Can I squeeze in the bookshelf? We do. Oh, I'm gonna squeeze that in. I'm happy. And then for the living room, that was gonna be right here. I mean, it's a kind of a weird shape, but we will survive. Oh, sorry. We will survive. <laughs> I can make a little band. Hold on, can I put up more of me? The answer to that is yes, I can put up more of me. <laughs> now I have my own little group. Okay, go go away. I'm gonna put up a wall. I'm too tired for this. <laughs> but I'm gonna put up my wall, my brick wall. And maybe I can also put up a different wall for the kitchen, just uh, while we're still here. Oh, and also an accent wall for the living room. Oh, that's gonna be lovely, okay. And then I need me couches, so I'm gonna put up this couch. And also that couch. Matchy matchy today. And can I squeeze in this carpet? I mean, yeah, I can. I could even squeeze in a creepy, creepy doll. Yes. Ooh, and now I kind of, kind of want a TV. Do we have a TV? <gasps> oh, no, we have a TV. It's this one. Oh, no. And I can't really squeeze in a fireplace. No. Okay, it's gonna be that ugly TV. Can we, um, size that up? <laughs> I mean, that's gonna look ridiculous, people. Ooh, okay, what if I take this one, and then I size it up with tool mod, and then I also just squeeze it into the wall a little bit. That could work. It falls right into the wall, people. Uh, but now there's a 
huge gap there. So what can I do about that? I can maybe put up a shelf behind there to fill in that gap. Do we have a nice old shelf? No, we do not have a nice shelf. We have prison shelves. Oh, yikes. Okay, I'm gonna make that work somehow. And I'm gonna put a flower on there. And maybe these creepy, creepy hands do. Okay, you know what? It didn't turn out that bad. It could be a lot, lot worse. Trust me, it could have been a lot, lot worse. But it sadly wasn't. No, what? It happily wasn't. I mean, now I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But I can put up a table over here. Can this work, please? I mean, it's kind of ugly, but it's the best that we can do, people. In this situation, it really is the best that we can do. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and I'm also gonna put up a freakity, freakity vacuum. Because we got a gosh darn forsaken vacuum back. All right, so now for the kitchen. Do we have any counters? Oh, we do. We're gonna use the one from, um... I was about to say horse in the round. The realm of magic kit. No, no, it's not a kit. It's just a realm of magic bag. No kids around here. But I'm gonna put up my counters. And we do, in fact, also have a stove. Nope, this is a fridge. <laughs> oh, no. This right here, that that's the stove. Okay. And then I just need to put some more Nicky Nags up on the rest of the kitchen. Just all around in the whole kitchen. And I did manage to find something. It wasn't a lot to choose from, but I found something. What did I even put up? I don't... A flower? Okay. I got some herbs, though. And a little candy jar. And uh, whatever that was. <laughs> Slim pickings out here. Right. Let's put up a dining table. Do we have a dining table? Ooh. Oh, yes, we have. Okay, we have this little cute doll table. I had zoomed in my OBS. I'm so sorry. Can't change it now. I'm gonna put up this table. Boop. And also some chairs. Some very skinny chairs because this is a teeny tiny table. And also a flower. That That's good for Nora. Ooh, and we can put Ghidri on the wall. That never hurt anybody. And I'm also gonna put up a broom. Ooh, that's right. For this room. Okay, hold on. Where's this room gonna be? I'm gonna put in... Uh, what am I gonna put in? I need to put in some flooring and wallpaper. <laughs> okay. What am I gonna have in here? <gasps> okay, maybe I can have a cauldron. We can have a magical scary room in here. And I can also put up some more shelves with some more potions because this is the room that they make their potions in. Oh my gosh, I'm a genius. This is the potion room, people. And I have color coordinated them and everything. What a potion room. And I'm also gonna have me a little picture collage wall and also a little calendar on the door. No matter who you are, you're gonna need a calendar. I mean, Ghidri has been in so many rooms <laughs> right now, but we don't really have that many choices, you know? The most of them are crap, I do gotta say. So, Ghidri, you're the best that we got right now. You'd never ask for more. Or I could, actually. I uh, think about it, I could ask for more. But, you know, I'm gonna put up me candles, you know? <laughs> Is that too much? That's probably too much. Or on the second hand, it's never too much. Okay, I kinda like that room. The little magic potion room. Kinda scary, kinda neat, kinda nice. Yeah, and then to our second floor, let's begin with the office. And maybe I'm gonna begin with changing the wallpaper. Because I want a little funky corner up in here with a desk moment. Just a really neat, nice little desk moment. How many times have I said a little? Too many times. But maybe not enough times. No, I definitely said it too many times. <sighs> but now you're probably thinking, Nora, didn't you have to put in a pet in this build? Where is the pet? And um, since none of the packs really have any pets or animals, I had to be a little bit creative. And I'm gonna put in a familiar orb of the butterfly. And I'm gonna put it right there. That's our pet. So, ta-ta. I hope you're happy with that. <laughs> and then over in this corner, we can put in some bookshelves. These cool-ish ones from uh, Get to Work, I think it was called. And I am indeed gonna try my best to put some Nicky Nacks in there. Hopefully, I will find them sooner rather than later. Sooner rather than later. Yeah, it seems about right. And there they all are. My Nicky Nacks. And also a lamp. Boom. All right, now for the bedroom. Oh, the beds. I'm not really the biggest fan of this bed because it's so mahusive and detailed, especially for the smallest room, but we gotta put it in. We have really no other choice today. <laughs> and I'm gonna put in these teeny tiny little bedside tables that I've sized down. And I'm also gonna put down some teeny tiny little Nicky Nacks. Just the teensiest sizes of Nicky Nacks. And that's kind of cute. I mean, that doll is pretty creepy, but it's cute. They both got some creepy dolls. <laughs> oh, and in this corner, we can put up a dresser. And I'm gonna put a box on there. And a picture frame. And also something else. And that something else was this. It's kind of cool. Oh, that's floating up there. Okay, I gotta fix that. But it's kind of cool, isn't it? Hopefully. And I'm also gonna put in the skeleton. Because I'm weird. I'm lacking. Oh, these curtains. They just have to do. I just gotta work these curtains. I can't need to do this anymore. Not today. All right, what do we have left? Oh, we have the bathroom left. Okay. I mean, that is a nice wallpaper, isn't it? Some nice tiles. Okay, I can do that. And I'm also gonna put in the sink. And a mirror. And I can also squeeze in the towel right there. And a robe. Two robes, actually. People. And also a shower. Yes. And also a toilet right there. That's about right. Oh, and this picture of some sunflowers. I mean, that isn't my favorite picture, but sure. And also this ugly, ugly carpet. Oh, okay. And now I do believe that the last house is done? Question mark? Oh, we got this room. That's right. I put up this uh, <laughs> seance table up in here. There's no way to get into this room, but the people who live here are obviously witches and ghosts and specters, so they can just teleport themselves up in here, you know? No problem too big. But yeah, that was the whole house. Pretty happy with that. And yes, I know that the rest of the neighborhood, you know, the streets and the fences, they are kind of undone, but I'm not sure what to do about that. I don't know what to do about the fences. Like, I could match the fences with the aesthetics of the rest of the house, but then, what do I do with the fence that's in the middle of the houses, you know? 
Who's gonna get that fence? And it's gonna be weird if I have two different fences. I don't know. I need to figure that out. Please help me. And believe it or not, it is actually so late right now. It's 12. 12 in the night times. Is that a.m. or p.m.? 12 a.m.? 12 p.m. I don't know. It's uh, zero, 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 zero with the 24 hour clock. Also called the real clock. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But this is the house tour. Hope you enjoy it. Yes, the house tour is like a normal slideshow because I am so tired right now that I don't think I could ever maneuver a camera and do it properly, okay? So hope you enjoyed that because I'm not doing anything else than that right now. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the houses. I did. It was kind of overkill. I thought that this wouldn't take me that long of a time because I thought like, oh, this is going to be tiny houses. So it's going to take a tiny amount of time. No, it took all day. I started filming this at 10 a.m. and it's now 12. So <laughs> it took all day and I'm starting to lose my marbles. I should not have done four houses. I should have done like two if I was the same person, a smart person really. But you know, here I am. Here, here I freaking am. And of course, all of the houses look kind of ridiculous because I could only use a limited amount of packs and really no base game stuff. So that was a challenge and a half. I think I pulled through though, kinda. We shall see. Only time will tell, people. Only time will tell. What else can I talk about? Um, it's uh, ooh, minus six degrees Celsius right now. I think yesterday it snowed a little bit, not a lot, but just a teensy tiny bit. So that's how it's going with Norway. At least where I live in Norway. <laughs> it's gonna get colder though. This is just the beginning. It's gonna get like minus thirty degrees Celsius when the real winter hits. So that's something to be excited about. I can already feel my eczema starting to grow when the winter comes. Nora's eczema also comes <laughs> in full bloom, which is always nice. And I also need to figure out the camera situation because right now I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm doing something. I'm pulling out more people. Oh, look at that. But yeah, I need to figure out the camera situation. Obviously, right now it's not good, but that's because I don't know shit about cameras. It scares me. There's just so much to figure out and I don't understand what I need to figure out, but I need to figure out something. So yeah. Oh, and also I am going to continue the house build that I did the last time. You know, the real salary profession thing. I'm going to continue that one, but I just need to finish up this one, I do believe. So don't you worry, it's coming. But alrighty, I do believe that the house store is done now. Did you have an enjoyable time? Because I most for certainly did. And if you for some reason want to download these houses, they're not available on my gallery right now, but they will be when I'm done with this whole lot. That's when I will put it on the gallery. So look out for that. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe because um, it really does help me out. So um, thank you. But only if you want to. Only if you want to. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.